Hi, this is Mark Redesel, and this is a quick introduction to Planarizer. Um, the other day I was working on the shape, and I was having some issues getting the planes to be clone planar, mainly these faces that are along the side of this mesh. Um, right now they're not too bad, but for this example, I'm going to take a few of these and adjust them so they're a little more obviously non-planar. So in this sort of situation, we have quads that don't have vertices that share a plane, specifically this one right here. So in this example, I'll show the basic functionality of planarizer. So to begin, I'll be adjusting the vertex that I have currently selected. And the next step is to hover the mouse over the face that you'd like to choose the other vertices from in which the plane is defined. What that means is this vertex hovering over this means that a plane will be constructed from these three points. This vertex will then be projected onto that nearest point on that plane. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I've selected it, I hover over, press D to run it, and now we can see that that plane is now flat. The slightly more complicated version is selecting multiple vertices. This works in a similar way, except since they don't have a specific point which they can use as a reference for the angle, I can hover the mouse over any face in the model, and it will use that face as the plane definition, and then it will use any of the connected vertices as reference points, so you won't end up with your faces going all over the place. I'll do that now. So I've selected these faces, or these vertices. I'll hover over one of the faces that I've already corrected, and now we'll see that all those vertices have been moved beyond the correct plane. Another fun thing you can do, although it should be noted that sometimes if you don't select all the vertices, some of these of course can end up with non-planar quads. If I select all of these, and then run it again, they should all be aligned properly. You can also do fun things like select everything, deselect one, and then let's say, let's align all of these faces to this upward facing quad. Now it's completely flat. Everything's lined up on one plane, and it, you, it, didn't, it did not move the one vertex that was unselected. This of course works for multiple selections. That pretty much sums up Planarize. Let me know if you have any feedback.